Hey everybody, it's Diana with Catherine Diana Studios and I am uh, going to do a haul video because I'm going to move my camera a little bit. See that right there? That's just the corner of one of my lights. I mean, no matter what I do, I can't seem to get it out of the picture to where you can see well enough. Maybe that's, anyway, pardon the mess. So, um, anyway, I'm going to do another haul video because I actually have been, this week, I've just done a little bit of retail therapy, I guess. I don't do it very often, but when I do, I do it. So, um, I got some more stuff, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together probably some kits and list them because I buy this stuff because I know I'm going to use it, but I don't need all of it, you know? So, I need to be careful with these. I have a glass of water over there, and I don't need to knock anything over. So I'm going to show you some of the pretty stuff I got. These are from, and pardon all this, I just put a bunch of lotion on my hands. They've been so cracked and dry. It's been windy and dry here uh, multiple times this week. And it just takes all the moisture out of your skin. My face is dry. My hands are dry. So I put a bunch of lotion on. And I didn't want to get anything on these, um, all the papers that I have. So um, anyway, so... And that's kind of nice, actually, because it covers up my old lady hands. <laughs> so I kind of don't mind. Maybe I'll do this more often and just have these more often. All right, got to wash that water. All right, so I don't know. There's These are all wrapped in, uh, you know, uh, um, some kind of clear, plasticky, sealed paper. And um, I don't know if there's a lot of glare there, but um, I loved this. Can you see the pattern on it? I'm hoping I'm not getting glare. My glasses broke today, so I need to... I have two pairs of reading glasses on to make I think it's uh, to where I can see I see some glare over here but um, anyway there's beautiful let me try it that way can you see some of that those images there beautiful florals there's a little bit of um, glitter on here and I thought this was so pretty kind of reminded me of the um, what's her name Edith uh, oh gosh you know country country lady diary of a country lady What's her last name? Is it Wharton? Wharton, I think. I, I don't know. Anyway, so remind me of that. And these were, uh, this was at um, TJ Maxx, $4.99. Oops, sorry, I just hit that. And um, I, you know, I'm going to use some of this, but I don't need all of it. So I think if I put some kits together and with all the papers that I have and all the hand dyed and all the ancient papers and old books and stuff, I'm like, you know what? I need to share some of this with everybody and just put together a pack. And then that way I don't have so much. So grab this one too. I thought this was really pretty to do some fussy cutting of some of these really pretty flowers. They are a little bit textured, but I really don't mind that. I think they're still going to be really pretty. And I could certainly use them for tags and tuck spots and whatever. So anyway, that was pretty nice. And that was the uh, $3.99. Um, then we have this one here. <laughs> I've got, I make some journals for um, young girls, teens, little diary things. And I thought this would be really cute. So little happy faces and different colors. So, and that one was $4.99. Um, here's another, kind of has that texture. This is a Laura Ashley, and I think, I just, I keep hitting the camera, I'm so sorry. How much was this one? This one was $3.99. So it does have some texture to it. You can see it in the, can you see it? It's almost like little dots. Almost like braille dots. Can you see that? It's, that's interesting. Um, obviously not quite like braille dots, but lots and lots of raised dots. Um, but some really pretty florals here, and I thought that would be really cute for the garden um, theme journals that I make, and tags and whatever. Um, and then this last one here, butterflies. Whenever I find butterflies, I grab them because I cut these out. I fussy cut them, and I use them all the time. Um, sometimes I'll put... Uh, uh, noisy, sorry. Uh, I'll... Um, Put them back to back with a little piece of floral wire and, and then put them in a, um, a um, display or, um, you know, a flower arrangement, something like that. You can put them in a display. You can do all kinds of fun things. You can make a little um, mobile out of these and, and just all kinds of stuff. So anyway, it's a lot of fun and they're really cute. Let me see if we can get a better look here. So anyway, super cute. Uh, and then I got some uh, napkins. I've been really terrible about putting new napkin sets, listing them. I've had some napkin sets since last summer that I have not listed. I have been just super busy and then sometimes just not motivated. I just don't want to do it. I'm tired. You know, I, I, I volunteer a lot and it 
takes a lot out of me sometimes. Um, because you you were I'm working and volunteering, so you know how that is. It's like when you you work and you come home and you're taking care of the house and you got the kids and and you know you're just tired and so there's a lot going on and so it's it's kind of like that and so um sometimes I I just don't really feel very creative. Do you get that way when you're tired? You just you're just not creative at all. So anyway, so I grabbed some napkins here to go with some stuff. I am currently, now, and I'll say this, behind the scenes I have been making some things and finishing up some stuff, um, but certainly not to the level that I would like to be or would, you know, normally would do. So anyway, grab these. These were four bucks. I don't need them all, but I did grab two because I have some other black napkins and I think they're going to go really well together and make a really pretty set. So hopefully there's not a lot of glare there, but aren't those really pretty? And typically my napkins, I'm selling them for like 85 cents a piece, something like that. So that way that covers a little bit of my time sorting together, color coordinating, putting them together, you know, that kind of a thing. So, um, so there's that, those beauties there. And then, uh, these, and I have plenty of other blue napkins that, um, these will go with. Um, I love these little pomegranates. I thought they were so, so pretty. Um, they are Rachel Ash, uh, Ashwell, um, which is really funny. Um, her napkins, a lot of times, now this is different packaging, so maybe another company's making them, but for several years, I would have to open them and have them air out. The, the packaging left a really odd aroma to the napkins, and they, they just kind of were gross. I don't know why, what it was. It was a weird plasticky smell. So anyway, so hopefully these aren't the same. But I don't know if you can see those beautiful patterns there. And then I thought this was a lot of fun. Um, there we go. And um, these remind me of the, you know, Diary of a Country Lady booklet um, uh, illustrations. The Edith, I think it's Wharton. Gosh, I can't believe I can't think of what her name is right now. I have like 10 of her books over there. Um, 10 different copies of a couple of her different books. Uh, I got these. I have these, I think, or something similar. I'm not sure. So I may end up taking these back because I don't, I don't buy them. I don't keep them if it's something I already have because I don't need 40 napkins. That's why I, I put them into kits or sell them in uh, custom bundles if someone wants them because none of us needs to buy these and have 40 of them you know what I mean so but you know three or two or five or whatever that that's workable so grab these because these were beautiful and I thought I would probably do some image you know just use this image around here but isn't that precious oh make sure you don't have any glare there so we'll grab those got some more bunnies uh I might have these already I do have some bunnies from last year that I, I set aside, so I got to double check. And so while they had them, I grabbed them just in case I don't, because I thought these were really, really cute. And I don't have these. I think these are new to this year. I don't remember getting these last year. So I thought those were super sweet. And then I do have, um, there's one set that's called, I think, Patterns, just, just Patterns. And then there's another one that's Country French. Um, and... Um, I also have a country, uh, a French Provence set. Anyway, but this will go with some of that. And I thought these were, I don't know if you can really, that come out. usually these have tape on them. You know. So you can kind of get an idea of, oops, there's a bit of a larger pattern. And these make great backgrounds for journal covers and just to make, you know, tags and bookmarks. And sometimes I'll just tear out a little bit and just embellish a corner of a, of a um, journal or something and then this is almost the same a little bit different but smaller so anyway so there we have it and then I grabbed these I thought these were cute different colors you can kind of see that they're let me see if there's no glare there ah. so there's like a pink and a, a mint green and a blue and a yellow and I'm going to tie I'm going to put a ribbon behind and I'm going to make a garland for my kitchen window out of these and hang them and maybe put some bows um, maybe some sprigs of artificial flowers. I'm not really sure yet since there's already flowers on here. So I might just do the bows and just, 
you know, drape them across in my kitchen window. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I don't know how that's going to turn out, but we'll see. So that's it for this haul because, trust me, I have more. <laughs> Uh, it was, I thought about doing a whole big video, but oh my gosh, they can get overwhelming when you're doing a bunch at a time. So, um, a bunch of different stores all in one purchase. So, so these here were Home Goods slash TJ Maxx. And, um, and that was, this was just a couple of days ago. So, and, um, they probably, you know, your stores probably have a lot of this stuff, I would imagine. So, um, anyway, so that's the haul for, for this one. And uh, I also did a Michael's haul, and I actually went to Hobby Lobby today, so I haven't been since like October, and I got quite a bit of stuff there today as well. I uh, hope y'all are having a great, great, great day, and um, having an awesome weekend, and I hope you have lovely weather wherever you are. It's been beautiful here, sunshine today, it was almost 60 degrees, it was great, and we just love that. So uh, anyway, you all take care, and we will see you soon in the next video. Bye!